Teenage drinking, drug activity, and an assault on a police officer. The charges a Coleraine police unit responded to this evening in just a matter of two hours. The department has stepped up enforcement for the holiday season, and the changes are already paying off. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir was right alongside the officers and joins us live in Coleraine with a story you'll see only on Channel 9. Sayed? Well, Carol Clyde, it's no secret that during the holiday season, crime tends to peak. So to, in order to try to get ahead of that, the Coleraine Police Department has started what it calls its robbery task force. That means they have six undercover officers patrolling the area looking for anything suspicious. I tagged along with them this evening, and that's exactly what we found. Howdy. See some ID? Coleraine Patrol Officer Mark Meyer has just pulled up to a car after smelling marijuana in the area. You guys aren't smoking any weed or anything in this car, are you? He's the uniformed officer who aids the undercover agents seen on the left side of your screen. For them to remain undercover, we are purposely not showing their faces or vehicles. The men were asked to step out of the car, and a plastic baggie was found on the floor of the back seat with the corner ripped off. Someone was ripped off, and what do you do with that? You, 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 you tie up your dope in it. No drugs were found in the vehicle, but the driver had a suspended license. So the vehicle was towed. Our police department positive is the driver's under suspension, the car is impounded. During the stop, two friends of the driver walked up to the car. Both were heavily intoxicated. One had a warrant out for his arrest, and the other was 15. He's drunk too? Yes, he's 15. Police walked the teenager home to his parents and took his friend into custody. We're kind of taking the fight to them, so to speak, I guess. Um, instead of reacting to uh, increase in burglaries. We've taken the initiative to attack the problem. And another problem wasn't far from the first one. A group of teenagers were walking in the middle of the street, so Officer Meyer stopped to question them. When he turned his lights on, the undercover officers noticed a separate vehicle quickly pull away. They followed it to Kroger, where they found the driver had a warrant out for her arrest. When they attempted to put her in custody, she kicked one of the officers in the chest and continued to spit all over the vehicle. Police had to mace the lady and call in backup units to search her. This is pill. What? This is pill. I take pills. I don't know what I it is. What is it? I don't know. I can't see you. Now, that lady was detained and will face several charges, but this robbery task force is something that Coleraine does every year. They budget for it annually, so it will not need to take any overtime pay, and it obviously is getting a lot of hits and is very effective. It will continue on through mid-January. Carol Clyde. Sayed Shabir, live for us in Coleraine Township. Thanks. Claire